Euler's amazing infinite fraction for zero and one not equal to 0 0.999 ad infinitum. Plain honesty, simple truth, easy understanding. The joy of finding things out for yourself. Even if you are only a minority of one, the truth is the truth. Mahatma Gandhi In his Elements of Algebra, pages 88-89, Euler produced an amazing infinite fraction for zero, using the algebraic expansion shown. Substituting for two-thirds and one-third for A in the expansion results in two numerically different infinite fractions both equal to 9 sevenths, which on subtraction results in the infinite fraction for zero as shown. This slide shows the first seven paired term by term numerical results for the infinitesimal fraction representation of zero. Adding the sums for the first seven paired terms gave the infinite partial sum plus 0.0002577767. We can deduce that 1. The convergence of the series is slow. 2. We have started with an infinite expansion of 3s. 3. We are slowly replacing leading digits with zeros. 4. Even after we have replaced infinitely many digits with zeros, we are still left with an infinite number of non-zero digits. 5. This demonstrates that all infinite expansions are just a representation of the quantities they appertain to be, and never a true equality. Hence, 1 can never ever equal 0 0.99999 recurring. Taking the algebraic formula in the denominator of the left hand side of the fraction from slide 3 and substituting the numbers shown into it, we see that 1 equals 1, but a sequence of decimal nines produces the same number of decimal nines, followed by a block of zeros plus 1 of length equal to the input. So the output always has double the number of digits of the input. This clearly demonstrates that no matter how infinite the expansion of the above algorithm, you always know that the first and last digits are 9 and 1 respectively. So 0 0.999 recurring can never ever equal 1, as it is less than 0 0.9999 in ad infinitum plus 000 ad infinitum plus 1, which is less than 1 QED. The following calculation steps demonstrate that there is a one to one correspondence between the infinite expansion of 9s and the infinite fraction 0 0.9999. Take 1, add 9 to give 10. Take the reciprocal to give 0 0.1. Subtract from 1 equals 0 0.9. Take 1, add 99 to give 100. Take the reciprocal of 100 equals 0 0.01. 1 minus 0 0.01 equals 0 0.99 and so on and so forth. This clearly demonstrates that whilst we can never discard the one, no matter how infinitely many nines are produced, and then say it was equal to a power of 10, then likewise we are not justified in discarding the residual, no matter the number of 0.999s produced in the infinite fraction expansion for one, and then say that it is equal to one. QED.